Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick tutorial here uh, about generating a table that's appropriate for publication um, using the original values, which have many decimal places that are too many that I, that I need. Um, so I want to bring this down to just one decimal place, uh, and then I want to put it into a format where I can uh, have a plus minus the standard error. And I can do this pretty easily in Excel. So the first thing I do, I have the raw data, then I'll generate the rounded data, and then I'll generate the data that's ready to put in a table and put in the publication. I'll show you to do that as well. So the first step is to use the round command in Excel equals parentheses. You want to pick the number that you want. In this case, we we'll go with this first number here, and I want to round to one decimal place. Now, if I want to apply this to all of these values, just drag it across and down. Let's generate all those values for me. Now, I want to have it where it says 9.4 plus or minus 0 0.4. So step two here is this reformatting. So I'm going to take my plus or minus symbol and make sure I copy that. I have my first publication and my second one. This first data set, which is the node of the first male flower that's emerged on the plant. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, include both of these values plus the plus or minus symbol. I want to go equals, select this box. The and symbol will then just include the next phrase that you want. So I'm going to put parentheses space. I'm going to paste in my plus or minus here, space again. And parentheses, I'm going to add the standard error and go and again the second value of 9.4 plus or minus 0.4. If I drag that down, I can just do that. Now it wants to pick whatever is in the same column. So if I just copy this over here, I can draw the same values for these uh, eight cells. And then I can take this and just drag it over. There. Now, the format for publication, I'm going to add a thick border on the top and bottom here. I'm going to add a thick border at the bottom. I'm going to change the font and the text size. I'm going to go to a point. And I want to merge these two cells to um, increase clarity. And then I'm going to put it in the center. And I'll organize everything in the center, actually. Now I can take a cut of this. And if I clean up the paper here, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in and keep the source formatting. Now, if I go to layout, I'm going to auto fit the contents. I'm just going to put it in an auto-fit setting. Now, if I want to change uh, any of these sizings, you can do so in the layout section. You can set it to specific column height and widths, uh, row widths. Um, now, if I want to center this table, which I do, I'm just going to go ahead and center there, and that's fine. If I have any other notations to put underneath, say that was conducting significance tests on this table. I could put um, asterisks for significance and then place it down here and specify what the p-value is. Um, you know, whether it's less than 0 0.05, less than 0 0.01. Um, if you're doing multiple asterisks, uh, but that's basically the, uh, the concept. So you can go through this in Excel pretty quickly. Once you know how to do it, it's better than manually entering all of these entries. Uh, and then it'll give you uh, the table that you want, easily transferable to Excel.